There's an abundance of online forum posts that suggest you should just ignore your parking ticket, and that's the best thing to do. I'll show you what really happens if you ignore a parking ticket, when your parking fine may actually expire, and how the wrong advice may land you in some very hot water. Before you even consider ignoring any ticket, first you need to identify what sort of ticket you were issued, whether it was a parking charge notice or a penalty charge notice. They may sound very similar, but how they work is very different. If it was on private property, usually a private car park connected to a business like a supermarket, then you'll have been issued with a parking charge notice instead. But if the parking contravention was committed on council land, then you'll have received a penalty charge notice. A council penalty charge notice is an official fine, which means there's a strict process to follow. But a private parking charge notice is more like an invoice, so what can happen may differ from case to case. Ignore a council penalty charge notice, then after 28 days, the council will send out a formal notice called a charge certificate. This notice won't just inform you of the mispayment, it'll also increase your fine by 50%. You only get 14 days to pay this, or a court order will be issued, which could then result in the use of a bailiff. In short, if it's a penalty charge notice from the council, then either pay up or appeal, but never ignore it. So can you ignore a private parking charge notice? In reality, you aren't legally obliged to pay a private car park fine, unless told to do so by a court. However, it may well be worth considering a prompt payment to avoid any further stress, any worry, or any potential legal action. Plus, many companies offer a decent reduction in your fine for an early payment. If you do ignore a private parking ticket, it's highly likely that the company will send out payment reminders, add late charges, or threaten some legal action. But in reality, there's nothing private companies can do to collect money unless they take you to court. But that doesn't mean you should just ignore a private parking fine. It's fairly likely that the company who issued the ticket will be willing to involve the courts, so you can't just forget about them. If they do take court action, a judge could make you legally responsible to pay, and the fine may become greater due to court costs. You may also be issued a county court judgment or a court decree in Scotland. I've researched these and they're both really serious. They impact your credit report, possibly making credit and mortgages harder to obtain in the future. If you then ignore a CCJ or a court decree, you'll very quickly hear the sound of a bailiff coming to knock on your door. There is some good news. If you think the ticket was unfair, then you can appeal against a private parking ticket, so long as it's from a legitimate company registered with the Accredited Trade Association. If in doubt, you can check if a company is an ATA member by calling the British Parking Association. Beware though, the call is not free. Some online forums advise drivers to ignore not only illegitimate fines, but also to ignore the legitimate parking charge notices, suggesting that they just won't take legal action. This is a risky strategy. If you followed this route in the past and ignored a parking charge notice, you may be wondering how long a company can chase you for a parking ticket. Well, unpaid private parking fines fall within the statute barred law, which means the issuer must try to collect the fine through legal action within six years or it will no longer be enforceable. So if you got a parking ticket and then hear nothing about it for six years, you're probably home and dry. However, if the company does take legal action during those six years, then the fine will not expire. If you're still worried about an outstanding or a delayed ticket, then your best option may be to consult a solicitor. There are many online solicitors that work out cheaper and easier than meeting one in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial. And I know a guy who saved £271 on his ticket doing this. I've linked that offer in the description, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd. So thank you.